So let's go <coughs> for uh, every cook cooking test. Automated cooking. I hope everything goes right and we have fixed old box. So this is the device. It is ready. The zero shows it is cold and waiting for action. The interface shows our menu planner and we can say that we want to cook the plant risotto now. So we go to cook. We say we want to cook with the machine. And it tells me let's start cooking. So we need some bouillon. Okay, I have it. We need some cheese. Okay, I have it. We need a yellow onion, okay, have it. We need some olive oil, is here. Then it tells me I have to cut and peel the onion. So let's do that. Onion is ready. Next, cut it roughly. Okay, that's a small one, it will fit in. So, open the lid. Lid is open. Add some oil. We add some oil. Set, add the cutting disc, so we add the cutting disc tighten the screw the nut, we tighten the nut close the lid Put in the onion for cutting. Okay. Now the beep is that we turned on the induction heater. So we start heating up. Here we see the progress bar. We are heating up to uh, 120 degrees C. If we go closer here, we see the temperature rising. 76, 77, 80 and so on. Hundred seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we cook it fifteen seconds at hundred twenty degrees, so we hold the temperature. Okay, open the lid. Yeah. The stirring is still a bit buggy, so I have to do the stirring by hand, but that's next to do. Lid is open. Then we have to add 195 grams of risotto rice. 
So here is the rice and just fill it in and as you can see the progress bar goes up and up oops that was a bit much but okay ah, that was too quick Let's try correcting. Now the bug is in the user, but it's still on top and quite dry, so I can get rid of it. So it says close the lid, we close it. We again heat the whole thing up to 120 degrees just to give the result a short hot phase in the oil. You see, progress is going on. Now we open the lid up again. Now for the water, I try not to do the same mistake that I did before. So I add the water slowly, as the interface says. Okay, that's done. Then close the lid. Lid is closed. Put in the pusher, lock it, it's done. And we start heating up and building pressure. Because it's pressure cooked risotto, it goes much quicker and you don't need the stirring because you have the steam that keeps the temperature even over the whole height. Again, we can have a look at temperature going up 93 already
And for the geeky ones, we have the manual mode where we can control the whole thing by hand and where we have some plots of all the values that are going on. So this here was the set value for the water 550 and this over here on the right is now our temperature rising so here we started heating and we slowly rise the temperature since we are close to a hundred degrees 101 degrees and evaporation starts this is a phase where temperature will stay constant for a certain amount of time until we go above boiling here we are back to the normal user interface 101 degree boiling is going to start soon We still have some trouble in reading the status of the induction heater, that's why you hear all that beeping. Because sometimes you have to turn it off and on to be sure it's, it's on. Um, but with the next Raspberry Pi shield this is fixed. This is soon to be tested. Yeah, we are boiling. I feel it. Now, hopefully the pressure comes soon. Back to the machine. Now usually this would be the part where you are sitting in front of the TV watching your favorite show because the machine is just doing all the cooking automatically but this is when all bugs are fixed. Some steam. I 
I hear steam. Now the seal just has opened up and closed in front here, so it's tight. We see valve is rising, pressure is rising. Now our interface. Tells you 15 kilopascal. We took kilopascal to have integers. But that means we are at zero two bar now. Here we see the rising pressure. Temperature here nearly constant also rising. Zero three bar. Zero four and one hundred and eight degree. Over here we see that the valve keeps rising, the first red ring is visible. Second red ring. Seventy five kilopascal <coughs> makes zero seventy five bar, zero seventy seven. At zero eight bar, we stop heating and keep the temperature constant and start counting the pressure cooking time. Yes. Now we see the seven minutes of pressure cooking have started. In our visualization we can see the regulation. This is for the moment the very simple proportional regulation. No PID or fancy algorithms. 
but this is soon to be done then we can be closer to the values we want to reach we see we reach the pressure we turn the heat off pressure reached turn the heat off then we turn it on we turn it off all the time but we are between 0 7 and 0 8 bars I think that's precise enough for cooking back to our cooking interface Here we see next step in 4 minutes 50 seconds. Uh, next step will be uh, get uh, blow off the pressure, add, add some parmesan and enjoy. So five, four and a half minutes left. I record the whole length so I have it documented. If you watch this on YouTube you can skip to 3 minutes further because nothing is gonna happen. Hopefully. Have a look at the temperature curve and pressure. Yeah. We see we are perfectly inside the range we want. Uh, this whole length is five minutes of time so we can look what happened in the last five minutes this JavaScript library is great for making for data visualizations but not with too much data and that's why we keep it to five minutes uh, because if we make it uh, more than five minutes like uh, half an hour or so the browser crashes because it becomes too much data for JavaScript. Two minutes left. Check over here. We are still exactly at ring at the second ring of the pressure cooking valve. Here in front, our 7 segment display shows a P for pressure, if it's hot it shows a H for hot, if it's hot without pressure, and if it's without pressure and below 40 degrees C it shows a 0 or a O for OK, that means that you can't burn yourself and that's safe. So that's some information I wanted to have directly on the device. Even if the web interface crashes, I know, is it hot? Does it have pressure inside? The big button just below is the 
emergency shutdown button it turns off the motor, it turns off the heater but it keeps the Raspberry Pi alive so we don't want to shut down the computer just because the hardware went crazy. Oh. Forty seconds left. Now when we reach the end of the cooking time Oh, let's show it from this side. This is my RC servo opening up the steam valve if we want to reduce pressure quickly. And this will be in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open up. Oh. Yeah. So now we can open up the lid as it tells me here. Oh. We have to make a longer timeout for keeping up, keeping the valve open. Because we open up the valve, we measure the pressure. If the pressure is zero, we close, we wait a few seconds and then we close the valve. But we don't wait long enough, so we close the valve and there's still some water evaporating. That keeps us some pressure, so I have to get rid of that bit of pressure. Now the heater is off, the fan of the heater is off, makes the whole thing much quieter and we can open up the screws. Now we think, ouch, it's hot. So let's have a look. Yeah, looks awesome. This, it's a bit sticky on the bottom, but nothing, um, nothing bad. So you see, it's, it's a little bit sticky on the bottom, but that's much better than the last results I had, where I had really some burn stuff. So. Minor adjustment of the parameters and we'll have a perfect risotto. So, this is the future of digital cooking. Thank you for watching.